Hi, I'm Lisa from Lime Bay Press. Some of you may know me, some of you may not. Um, this is just a quick sort of how-to video. Um, we're going to be putting a few of these together with some of the newer products um, that we have available through the website, through the store on the website. Um, and for some of the older products that we have, not just products, we're going to have a whole YouTube channel that will be dedicated to setting up your press and overcoming any problems that you may have um, using, as I've said before, the old and new products um, and just trying to answer any questions and cover any queries that you may have. The one thing or the first thing that we're going to do today is looking at um, these new flexible tympan sheets that we've just recently launched. I have to confess that up until a few weeks ago, I'd never used one. I hadn't used graph paper or any grid or anything of a similar type on my press. Um, these were developed for people who mainly use, well, either a desktop, a Dana style press or a treadle press. Um, today I'm going to be using my Chandra and Price. Um, they're really simple and save loads of time and keep your work nice and clean. Um, they're printed up with a grid. They've also got um, a protractor style circle on them just in case you need to rotate. If you want to get that technical with things and you've not printed things straight or you're not wanting to print things straight but your form may be straight in your press but you don't want to print it that way. But basically I'm just going to take you through the basic setup of using one of these sheets on your press. Right, first and foremost, I have my press. I've already got a 152 plate set up on a deep relief base in the Chandler and Price. What I've done is set and made sure my make ready is already set up onto a single piece of tympan in my press. I've used this before, this is why there's a little tear mark where I've taken off my tape, but basically I'm happy with the even impression so far that I'm getting on such a thin tympan. Once you've printed on your tympan, what we would then do, bearing in mind that this ink is going to be wet, is use a small amount of French chalk, or in this press room, it's Johnson & Johnson's baby powder. And we just apply that, just a small amount to the ink to make sure it's all nice and dry and it won't transfer onto your printer onto the tympan sheet that we're going to be using. Then we take our tympan sheet. This is one I've used before because you'll see a little shadow ghosting of a print that I've done in the past, this particular print. And we lay it and we line it up with our design that we printed onto the tympan. Once we're happy that that's in place, place where we want it, centered, to, centered on the design, there we go, we just tape it into position. Making sure, being very careful, that we don't move it. We're just using a standard masking tape just to hold it in place. Now, what you have to bear in mind is that these flexible tympans do have a thickness to them. It isn't huge, but it could affect the impression, especially if you've got a lot of packing on your tympan. We try to print as close to the metal as possible so that we don't get the bruising on the back of our print. Sometimes it's unavoidable, um, but that's how we like to do things. So basically now I have my tympan in place. What I'm going to do for this demonstration is literally just use my eye to get everything lined up. So that's pretty much in the centre there. So I know I need to use this line and I'm going to centre it roughly there. So by using the flexible tympan, I can line this up on the grid lines that we have. And you'll find if you use our flexible gauge pins, the base save gauge pins. They love to stick to this plate, this um, 
flexible tin film. So we're just going to pop those on into position. They are repositionable on this, so you don't have to worry about tearing your tympan. It's probably a good example of showing you how to use your gauge pins as well, whether you're using the flexible tympan sheet or not. With them in position, there you go, nice and firm. We know that that piece of card isn't going to be moving anywhere very far, very fast. All right, let's have a look at the first impression. There we go. The first print. Personally, and as this is just a job for me, position isn't great. It's just an example to show you but I do want to move it down so that my design or the text is actually higher up the sheet. And literally I've just removed my base saver gauge pins. I'm moving my paper down slightly. This paper, by the way, or the board is already cut to size, a postcard size, so 148 by 105 millimetres. Placing on, and I'm going to use the same piece of board to take my second impression. There we go. I can see that's moved up to a better place. So I'm going to take another impression. There we go. I could probably do a little bit of make ready on the small type, but for now I'm happy. And I know with a couple of minutes work, it would be perfect. But now let me show you, now everything's into position, what you can do just to make sure nothing moves. And what I would do is I'm just going to tape over this final corner. Very rarely will you have to move the tympan sheet once you've got it lined up with your design anyway and then we can go on and print knowing that each and every time your design is going to be in the same place I don't know if you can see that, but they're all in the same position. Like I say, I'd come back to do this and look at my mate ready and look at a more solid print. This is quite a, a solid design. There's a lot of flat colour there. So you're going to see um, some ghosting happening, but that's probably just down to needing a little bit more ink. So there you go. Oh, one thing. If you do accidentally print onto your tympan, instead of then having to replace all of your tympan and packing, or using lots of French chalk to get rid of the wet ink, you can literally wipe off. I put a little bit of press wash on here. We won't only use the VM. 111 press wash. But if you catch this soon enough, you should just be able to wipe away any of the ink that you've put onto your platen, onto your flexible tympan sheet. And it shouldn't transfer if you clean it off properly. Perfect. And a better print. Probably just needs working up a little bit more. It is very cold in here today, but I hope that gives you some idea of how you use these flexible tympans. We also do them um, in a size that's suitable for the Adana 8x5. The principle is just the same. If you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch. The links to all of these products and things that we have to show you will be in the description.
Thank you. Bye.